Actually, hello to you all. What is our livelihood depending on? People work day and night, around the clock, 24-7. We're running a marathon around our lives, and we don't know when enough is enough. And we take two jobs, three jobs, and we never can pay the bills. And it seems that our life is in a rut till we get to hospice. And we're too tired to enjoy everything we've done and become too old before our time. We become obese, we become too thin, we become anorexic, we go on diets, we go to gym. Whatever it is, we don't have enough family time, not enough quality time, not enough love time, not enough relationship time, not enough time for our kids, not enough for anything at all. And most of our lives, we burn away our lives away in order to generate a bit more money. Only at the end of our lives, when we hospice quality, we burn all our money in order to get a bit more life. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. So what does it depend on? It depends on the fact that we think that we are in control. We want to be in control. We don't leave anything to chance. We run day and night because we are in control. We forget while we're doing it, even though we're very believing people, that God runs the show. And if since God runs the show and he can give the livelihoods to huge stars, to the sun, it's billions of atomic bombs every second. He gives livelihoods to elephants, the hippopotamus, the hippopotamus that can that eat hundreds of kilograms of pounds per day. Can't he take care of me, little me? If he does it to the entire universe for free, why, when it comes to me, it doesn't come for free? Why do I have to struggle so much and never finish the match? And the answer is because I take control, because I rely on myself, because I rely on my boss, because I rely on the lottery ticket, because I rely on other kind of systems that they will provide. And the answer is no. You do your share. You invest your time honestly with high standards. But God is providing. Trust him that he will bless whatever you do, as it says about Isaac. And Isaac has planted that year, but he ripped away a hundred times. He ripped away a hundred times. Because why? Because he trusted God. Because he never relied on himself. He never relied on Abraham, his father. He didn't rely on any system. He relied only on God. Why did Yosef, Joseph, become the, the viceroy of Pharaoh? Because he said, it's not me, it's God. He nearly lost his chance. Who will go to, a, to an interview, work interview, and say, it's not me, it's God? Only somebody who is out of his mind. But Joseph wasn't out of his mind. And that's why he got the job. He didn't come to interpret dream. He got the, the biggest job ever to change all the universe, all the world. Because otherwise, everybody would have died of famine. But God put in his mind the right idea, the right plan to save the world of famine. Why? Because he said, he put his money where his mouth is. I trust God. It's not me. If you don't do that little change, God will help you, support you financially, mentally, health-wise, relationship-wise, love-wise, career-wise in all areas of your life. Contemplate on that and God bless you all.